what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about tackling your to-do list getting things done I know personally for me it is the most satisfying thing to start crossing things off of my to-do list and hopefully getting to everything that I need to get done so if you guys are needing a little bit of motivation to tackle your to-do list then this video is definitely for you the first thing I want to tackle is organizing underneath my kitchen sink it's definitely a project I've been procrastinating on for a while now now, I don't have every single thing that I need to fully organize it but I want to at least start the process with the things that I do already have as you guys can see like things are literally just thrown in here I don't have the most space but I would like to take the cleaning products that are in the white cabinets near the front door and put them under here and then I also got some door organizers to hang some stuff up on the side so let's start tackling this today to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I picked up this under the sink shelf liner mat just to give extra protection in case of any leaks or anything like that underneath the sink. So the reason I went with this one is the fact that you are able to trim and cut it so it fits exactly underneath your sink. I wasn't able to find an exact measurement for my particular sink. So we're going to give this a try and see how it works. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about only chasing Okay, so now it is a perfect fit. I do like how thick the mat is. It's shiny and waterproof on the top. And then it has this like um, uh, like thicker type of, I don't want to call it fleece, but like a thicker type of material underneath. So now underneath my sink, I have a double layer of waterproof um, mats. And now the only other thing I need to do is just organize everything and also wipe down the inside of these doors. To organize underneath the sinks, I'm going to repurpose these stackable clear bins. I already wiped them down and I'm not quite sure how much stuff I'm really going to be able to fit, but we're gonna at least organize what we can. And then this way I can go to the container store or home goods or somewhere like that and get anything else that I need. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself when I met ya 
To organize the doors, I picked up two of these command um, bins. I figured it would be perfect to store my extra power wash and um, what is it? The power wash spray and the refills along with any sponges that extra sponges that I buy as well. So we will see. I hope that this is not going to be too heavy for this. But again, we will see how this works. Surprisingly, these command strips were really hard to get off, so I knew that they were going to stick very well on the inside of the cabinet and be able to hold anything that I put in there. I will make sure to have them linked down below for you guys in case you're interested. They're great to add extra storage to your inside cabinets, doors, anything you want. So I decided to pick up two of these bins and put them all on one side to hold all of my extra Dawn dish soap. I usually like to go to Costco to purchase it. It's great to get it in bulk and it also comes with two of the extra additional like sprays. So this is a great way for me to store them and still make everything look nice while also making sure that it's renter friendly. This looks a hundred times better, even though I don't have everything that I need. I do want to get these command um, like hooks um, that allows me to like clip on my um, rubber gloves. And also I'm able to hang 
the cleaning products up here as well which would help add more room um and then probably also get at least maybe one or two of those like stackable bins again but the way it is right now i am a hundred percent satisfied it looks so much better and i was able to free up a lot of space in the white cabinet in the front entryway now that we got under the sink all neat and organized since i'm already in the kitchen i might as well finish up cleaning everything i did run a load of dishes earlier today but i do have some things that need to be hand washed in the sink and i would even like to kind of like wipe this plastic piece down it's been a little while um so let's tackle the kitchen before moving on to the next thing Thankfully, there wasn't too much stuff that needed to be done in the kitchen. I did need to finish up washing whatever was left in the sink. And then I needed to put all of the dishes in the dishwasher away. And then, you know, just clean up around the space. I try and keep my kitchen pretty neat and organized and fairly clean just because I don't have that much space and room so it could easily feel cluttered. So having a set routine has been so crucial for me. Heading on over to the living room, the focus was really just to tidy the space up. I feel like I cleaned this area multiple times throughout the day just to keep up with everything and then i'm going to be doing the same exact thing in the dining area we were doing some clay the day before so i really just want to get all of that stuff picked up wipe down the table and then also vacuum
The next thing on my to-do list that I really need to get done is to mail out a package and also do some Amazon returns. I have two boxes right here. I'm not quite sure what size I'm going to need, but um, I'm actually mailing out some donated clothes of Riley's. Um, actually to a subscriber, um, you guys said, she told, she reached out to me, let me know that she had a daughter around Riley's age um, and asked if I could send her some of her like donated clothes and, and stuff. So I have this bag sitting to the side and I've been meaning to actually like fold it and put it away, take it to UPS. But you know, just life has been crazy busy. Um, so today is the day we're gonna get to that. And then I'm hoping to be able to also mail it out um, today as well. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again, now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy, but I can put an end to your feelings. Show you a place where you go wanna move your feet until they start to be DJ take it away tonight is all for you and me so baby spin and let the music begin I know you feel it within so go ahead and just spin just spin for me To finish the items on my to-do list for today is to just fold and put this laundry away. Thankfully, I've been able to keep up with laundry for the most part. I used to do a load a day, but I kind of have moved away from that for a bit. And now I've just been doing maybe a couple loads when it's a little bit less hectic and I'm able to like bang out a whole bunch of laundry that will last me for a couple days and then I will do another couple of loads. Um, when things start to pile up. So the next area that I want to tackle is to organize these um, cabinets a little bit. Since I was able to take some of the cleaning products out of here, I'm hoping that I will get a little bit of extra space. Also, 
because I'm no longer using this in Riley's room. I'm almost thinking about trying to organize all of, you know, my tools and just like random stuff down at the bottom. So we will see. I think that this cabinet space definitely needs a little bit of organizing. So we're gonna get that tackled today. So I started off on the middle shelf because that's where I had the most space because I was able to take a lot of the cleaning products out and put them underneath the sink. And I wanted to have an idea as to like how much extra space or room I would have because I was hoping to move the toilet paper down to the middle shelf and then this way it opens the top shelf for all of my like towels and stuff. Like as you guys can see, it literally is just jam packed in there. We have a lot of towels, you know, whether it's beach towels, regular towels, um, face towels. We just have, you know, a lot of stuff in there and I needed the extra space. So we pretty much have this side organized. I was able to, you know, create more space up at the top for all of our towels before they were honestly just like squished in there. Um, and I would eventually like to take these cleaning towels and put those underneath the sink as well. But for now, I do think that they're going to have to stay there. And then we do have some space at the very bottom which I'm hoping I can you know maybe take something from this side and move it over here this is not going to stay here there much longer because um this spring Riley wants to hang um this piece up right in front of the door it's like one of those like net things where you can have the door open but bugs can't get in but you can still get the breeze so right now it's just sitting there but I probably could even put this in the closet and then maybe see if my Cricut Joy and all that stuff can fit over here so I can take it away from over here. We're going to see. So we just need to get this side in order because as you see, everything is literally thrown in here. 
Cabinets are finally organized. This one is kind of a mix of a bunch of different things. Um, it's basically whatever I can fit on each individual shelf. I am trying to figure out where I can store like my extra lashes and all that stuff. Um, I've been giving away to like friends and family as well. Um, but yeah, right now they're just going to stay up at the top. And then you guys already saw this one as well so i think overall they both look 
so much better than what they were before, a little bit more organized. So the last kind of two things that I'm hoping to get to is to clean that mat right there. And I was thinking about possibly trying to clean the grates of the stove, um, but we will see if I even have the time for that. Small.